Hey clowns, what's going on and welcome back to another video. So today we are back for Martha is Dead. It's been less than 24 hours since I posted the first video and you guys already got it to 60, 60 plus likes, I think, something like that. But that means that we're gonna play it again. Listen to the music, listen to the bars, it's fire. No, but seriously, we're back playing Martha is Dead. Let's jump back in. I love starting the game and this is how it starts. Like why? Why does this have to be swinging? Uh, it's very dark. Hold on. Let me let me get my lighter out. Uh, hello. How do, how do I? July eighteenth. Everything has changed. I feel like a different person. The best part of me left with Martha. My enthusiasm, my desire to live, and the will to joke around. I find myself alone, left to my own devices, confused with no desire or expectations. I was handling the cameras at the lake and there was a floating body on the water. I don't remember what I was doing before. Yet another memory lapse. That lifeless body was Martha's, my sister. Mummy ran up to me and hugged me thinking I was Martha and that I, Julia, was dead. I didn't correct her mistake, and now it's too late. If they find out I have been fooling everyone, I don't even want to think about it. I feel terribly guilty pretending to be Martha, pretending to be death. I took the photo for Martha's frame. I know it's too late now, and I felt incredible pain placing the picture. I said goodbye to her forever in that moment. I realized she was gone, and there was no going back. I must do one thing for Martha. I must find out what happened. The partisans couldn't have killed her. That's just ridiculous. Lapo is my friend, and he is one of them. He loved us so much. We know all of them, so it's just impossible. Okay, so that was basically a recap of what happened last time we played, so thank God that that happened just now. I wonder if it does that every time I restart the game. But, uh, yeah, so now we're going to, um, where we basically were taking a photo when we found Martha's body. We're going to there by the lake, and we're going to see if we get the film roll from when we were taking the photo. So, also, guys, these videos are much longer than usual, so there's not as much editing in them. I'm just going to try to cut out parts of where I usually might take long to figure out something and stuff like that. Also, there was this creepy story at the beginning of the game about this lady who drowned in the lake, not Martha, and she drowned because she was trying to find her love, but ended out that uh, he drowned her instead. And the forest then is very dark. The light will... he drowned her instead. Not and me. then in um, when he confessed to it, they hung him by the tree in the middle of the lake. I thought it was just a story, but turns out that the exact same lake is this one. So cameras at the lake so the camera could be in any of these three spots i'm guessing it makes sense for it to be right here because this is where it was when we found martha's body so it's probably there so we got to get over there which is uh quite far but uh we're gonna figure it out also grabbing myself an energy drink you guys might have noticed i drank one in the last one i've been getting quite tired recently uh i've been having some sleep issues so i kind of need these energy drinks just to oh my god open open I need these energy drinks just to keep myself alive for the moment, so I'll be drinking these. Better to use the gas lamp. All right, so we got to go find a lamp so that it'll be uh, it'll be easier to see in the dark. A lot of objectives here. We got the frame done. Newspaper. We read the newspaper. I don't know why that objective hasn't gone away. We need to find a bike for the pump. Develop the photo of Martha's dead body that we took. Uh, it's usually near the entrance within easy reach. Okay. Let's go get it. This game is almost automatically scarier than most games. Basically because I'm playing it alone. A lot of the times I play games that are on stream. So it doesn't feel like I'm alone when I'm playing them. But this one I'm truly alone. I'm just talking to the camera. And nobody else. So. Quite scary. Alright, there was an easier way to get down, so we could go down here and then make a left. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha.
Also, it was said that the, the girl that drowned in the lake, not Martha again, it was said that she haunts the forest at night when it's misty out, which just so happens to be right now. Um, okay, so turn around and go up. Okay. I'm just trying to make sure that, um, you know, I navigate the right way. So I feel like we're going to see some kind of ghost, whether it's Martha or this creepy woman. This game is also so detailed. I love the night, but this night scares me. In the dark, I can feel all the harm I've caused. It's getting closer with each step. I feel it brushing up against me like a cold wind. I hurt Martha. The closer I get to the lake, the more certain I am of this. How could it not be? I killed her to steal the love that everyone felt for her but didn't feel for me. Wait, whoa, whoa. How could I have done such a thing? Wait. I'm sorry, what? Did she just say that she killed her? Unless she means, like, metaphorically, but... I don't think that's what that meant. That sounded like she literally just confessed. Also, Julia seems to have these issues where her memory relapses, apparently. So, like... She doesn't remember what she was doing before she found Martha's dead body, so maybe she did kill Martha. Okay, so the game wants me to take a picture of this, so I'm, I'll take a picture real quick, sure. Uh, use the camera. I s nope, fuck that, fuck that, fuck that. Close the camera. Close the f fucking camera. Did you guys hear that? There's literally like something walking up behind me and moaning. Hell nah. Screw that. I'll keep following the trail. I don't know why we're grabbing the camera this late at night. I think we're doing it so that, um... Like, so that our parents don't find us. Our parents are currently uh, prepping Martha's funeral. Well, Julia's funeral, because they think that Julia's dead. It's very confusing describing things in this game. Uh, okay, so then we keep going along this. Wait, did I miss it? I think I did. Yeah, it's, the turn's here, I think. No? Wait, where, where's the turn? I missed the turn. Oh no, I didn't. Okay. So just stick to the right. Oh, the turn's there. Okay. Let's chill, ghosts. This game isn't supposed to have jump scares, but... I'm starting... Lamp. Damn, lamp. Luckily, I still have my lighter with me. You're gonna be fucking kidding me. Oh, okay, I can relight the... <gasps> oh my god! Oh, come on, man. Stop with that. Alright, let's go to the right. Oh, here we, here we go. Cameras right here. The cameras are somewhere around here. The cameras? Oh, there was multiple? Well, this is the one that had the picture of Martha. For sure. Two cameras left. What is that? Oh, there's a house across the lake, right? I feel like that wasn't... Chill, bruh. I can, hear pe I can hear people walking in the forest. Please stop. God, it's giving me terrible anxiety. Alright, so immediate right. This damn game. Just grab the cameras and dip. Just grab the cameras and dip. Okay, so there should be another one right here. This is literally where we found Martha's body. Yeah, here's one. A shred of fabric here in the woods. How strange. Let's take a photo of it. One more camera to collect. Okay, taking a photo. Let's get it. Please don't have anybody sneak up behind me this time. Subject framed out of focus. Uh, how do I fix the focus again? There we go. Shoot. Got it. How could it have ended up here? It looks familiar. Looks familiar. 
Alright, so when we develop the photo, maybe we'll see something else. Here's the other camera, and now we can head back. Although I feel like heading back isn't going to be that easy. That's it. I've got them all. These films are going to help me understand what happened. Now I should rush home to develop them. Agreed. I'll turn up the game volume just a little bit. Boy, oh boy. Okay. So how do we get back? Most games, you know, there's like a distinguish. Uh, there's like a big difference between the path and like, you know, the borders of the game. But this game looks so good that it's hard to tell. Like the path looks just like the regular forest, you know? Like, come on, I, I like it's hard to tell that this is even a path until you see the bridge. Chill, why the music getting all creepy again? My lamp's fading too. Relate that girl. God, please, please relight it. Please. Like any, any, any second now, you could relight it. God fucking damn it! I can't open my map. Oh, get off me! Get off me, bro! Punch her in the face! Oh no, nah, we running. Oh, we running, running now. Oh my god, it's just like our nightmare. Oh no, nah, bro. Space, let's go. Let's go, Julia. Let me see. Let me see that athleticism. Come on, you got it. You got it. Crouch, crouch, crouch. Boom, boom. We killing it. We going crazy. Come on, Julia. We almost home. We almost home. Come on. Why is this getting so? What's going on, Julia? I I like can't see. What the hell? What is going on? Where am I? It says I'm in the house. This definitely ain't home, though. Uh. I'm also a lot shorter now. Um. Okay. All right. That's not a pleasant sight. Oh, that's so gross. That's gross. That's disgusting. Um. What the f What is going on? Please don't tell me that was implying Martha was pregnant. Please tell me that was just like some kind of symbolism or something. Oh, yet another nightmare. 
She entered my dreams once more. Maybe she wants to talk to me. What am I saying? Fairy tales coming true. Yet I feel... No, no, these are the thoughts of a crazy person and I'm not crazy. Mm. Maybe you're going crazy because of the guilt. Damn it, what's all this blood? I'm not due yet and there's a lot more than usual. What's happening to me? Am I going to be joining Martha sooner than I thought? I have to wash up and do what needs to be done. If I'm sick, I have little time. The truth awaits me. It must be hidden within those rolls. Why is the photo upside down? That's not disturbing. Um, Alright, yeah, can we change, please? If that is like what what I'm thinking it is, I feel like that was an unnecessary what am I detail. I would stain my clothes with blood. Oh, I have to wa literally wash first. Okay. Um. Anything useful in here? Oh, all the cameras are in there. Um. Anything else? I don't think we have anything else that's useful. At the moment. Um. It's July 19th. It's July 19th. Here's the bathroom. Creepy ass bathroom. My. Oh, here we go. Don't show me. Thank you. Jesus. That's better. But I still don't understand all of that blood. That's never happened to me before. But I'm not going to tell my doctor. Otherwise, he'll make me stay in bed and rest. Okay. That's fair, the I guess. elegant dress. No, I'll never hear the end of it from Mother. Okay, so we'll do this one. Let's go cute fit. Alright. I want to go develop those cameras. It's very rude, but I could pick up the phone and listen to their conversation. Oh, hell yeah. Let me listen to the convo. What's going on? How are you doing today, Rennie? I'm worried, Father. Very worried. We found more partisan tracks in the woods, right next to the house. That Lapo. I suspect he may be involved in the death of- No, please don't say that. It's, it's not possible. I know the boy and I don't- Father, anything is possible in these dark times. Anything. Those are our footsteps, that right? didn't even come to say goodbye to Julia. Didn't they love each other dearly? He must be terribly scared, and Julia always used to say that. Yeah, sure, she used to say they were just friends, but you know too, right? Friends are not supposed to do such things, Father. Or are they? But anyway, you're defending them both. You, my husband, and even the nanny, who, deep down, is a good woman. The nanny? I believe the nanny is the one who hurt Julia. With her evil passion for those cards, that they are cursed things. I hope you made them disappear. Of course. I keep them safe in my room. Anyway, you must forgive me, Father. I have to go. They've come to pick me up. Have a good day. You too. Lapo's involved in Martha's death. My mother is losing her mind again. How could anyone even imagine such nonsense? And Donatilio. He is a great friend, but what a weird view. Those cards are just a game, but most importantly, they're mine. Why on earth did they take them from me? From this moment on, it is forbidden for anyone to leave their home. And it's an interesting painting. Ah, uh, game is so beautiful. Sometimes. There's some things that... I don't know if it's my computer or if the game has... I've heard the game has some performance issues. Like, these flowers... Like, the, like, look at the background. The background's beautiful. And then look at the flowers. They're kind of like, meh. I don't know. Very weird. Stop it, phone. All right, we got anything good here? Some letters. What's that? Mummy's medicine. Will they do her any good? My card's in here? Dear Mother. This is hard, but I have something to tell you. I found out that Julia is pregnant. Go to the lake tomorrow morning at 7 and watch her as she bathes. 
you will see that her tummy is growing. Martha. What? I'm not pregnant. Why is everything becoming even more confusing? I'm searching for an explanation, but instead I'm left with more questions. What the fuck? Why would Martha say this that? This is Mummy's jewellery. She wears them every day. Even though Daddy says it's impractical and dangerous to show signs of wealth these days. As usual, she doesn't want to listen to reason and ends up arguing with Daddy until he goes to play war, as she says. That's so odd. There's my cards. Here are my cards. Nanny and I always used to play with them. She would predict my future and I pretended to predict hers. The future was always good for everyone. Of course. Maybe when she read them, she saw my true future, which she hid from me. Or more likely, these cards are actually just a stupid game to reassure and deceive oneself with. But deceiving oneself is sometimes necessary. How can we live happily otherwise? Alright. God, I hate the noises that the house makes. Let's get out of here. My phone keeps ringing. Again, people only text me when I'm recording. Door to my room is still locked. There's got to be something in that room. Another newspaper. Let's see. Anything new? The superior commander of the German Federal Armed Forces announces, 1. Whoever is in possession of weapons or explosives not reported to the German headquarters will be shot. 2. Whoever harbors bandits and or protects them and provides them with clothing and or weapons will be shot. 3. Whoever is aware of the existence of any rebel groups or even lone rebels without reporting them will be shot. Interesting. Martha, is your dead body here? It is. Hey Martha, what's going on? Or Julia, quote unquote. At least they got nice peaceful music next to you. I think it's I think it's so interesting. If I don't know if they do that in Italy, but that they just have like the open casket just chilling there in the house. It's odd to me, personally. Alright, let's develop some of these photos. See if we could get anything. Oh. What's this stuff? A lens and a roll of infrared film. They can photograph what the naked eye cannot see. Interesting. With this lens, I can shoot very close up. Red filter for super high contrast photos. Orange filter. When there is fog, it improves the image by giving it some contrast. Blue filter. Ideal for indoor photos. With this lens, everything gets bigger. This lens increases the framed area. It allows me to fit more into the image. Okay. Interesting. So we got I lots of different filters now. the volume down as I listen. I must go unnoticed. I am meant to be deaf after all. True. We can't be caught for not being deaf. I feel like we just shouldn't do this in general. Julia! You ready? Sure, Daddy. I'm good to start. I've already started recording. Oh, no, my voice will sound awful. No way, come on. Didn't you want to study singing anyway? No, 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 I was young and stupid when I said that. Okay, ready. Go. Oh, how nice. It's the rehearsal for last week's concert. I never heard the recording. Apparently there's music, but streamer right. mode disabled it, which I'm okay with, because this is going on YouTube, so it would also get copyrighted anyway. anyway. It's time I develop these film roles. I can't wait any longer. I wish I could just stop time. I'm so curious it's going to be on this film. Alright, let's see. We got lots of stuff to develop. These images could change everything. I cannot bear the fact that I may have hurt Martha. I would rather die. Damn my head and these memory lapses. It's such a pain not remembering. It's like 
getting lost inside yourself. I can't even see what's on like any of these photos. Um, okay, so focus, adjust the enlargement. Okay. Boom, expose. Can I do them all at once? Is that a thing? Oh, I could skip it. Okay, cool. Perfect. I don't want to sit there and do it for all of them, you know? And stop. Whole lot of nothing. Put in the album. I want to, I'm going to keep them all. Never know. Wait, I can only do one photo from each? God, it's hard to see. Oh, oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay, so there is one photo per each that has something. Okay, so develop this one. I don't like whatever sounds happening over the radio right now next to me. Okay, let's see. Who's in this photo? Is it Martha? And stop. Here I was running toward the pier, just as I remember. Oh, so this is when, okay. So that was when I was running towards the pier to, when I saw Martha's body. Okay. Interesting. Okay, creepy. Let's do, uh, let's do... Hold on a minute. I think I might have seen something in the other photo. Here we go. And stop. Yes, I've undressed and I'm about to dive in. This matches my memory. Okay. Good, good, good. I keep forgetting I could skip. Oh, and then we have these to develop too. Okay, let's develop, let's develop these first. I feel like it's going to do something for the story if we develop that other one. Let's develop this photo of Martha. A photograph is both the present and the past, like a dead body. I don't know what I'm expecting. Maybe it's silly to think you can capture the soul of someone who has died. A little silly, but it's fine. Whatever makes you feel happier, Julia. You are impersonating your dead sister. Her face can't tell me anything anymore. I know that, really. Her lack of expression scares me. I don't even know whether to keep this blank photo with me or just throw it away. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep all of them. Oh yeah, and then we have to do this one. This one's some kind of evidence. Oh wait, did, did I do that right? I think I did that right. I hope I did it right. <laughs> uh, stop.
gives me the option to scrap this one. Scrap. I feel like I did it wrong. I'm gonna try again. Sorry, guys. I think I rushed that one a little too much. Is this good? I think this is good, actually. Maybe it just gives me the option to scrap it anyway. And... Stop! Yeah, it's probably gonna give me the option to scrap it anyway. We'll keep it. Piece of cloth might be important. All right, now time to develop the photo of us with Martha's body. Very creepy. I'm carrying Martha to shore. I'm trying to save her. My memories, although fuzzy, do match reality. I feel a little better. Now I can find out who really hurt Martha. Maybe I should meet with the white lady. She might be able to tell me something. Is mm. this crazy talk? Yes, definitely. But what's normal about any of this? Maybe Me you have to be a little crazy to get anything done. Maybe he's... Wait, what? She wants to meet the white lady? What is... I don't understand. Hold on. All right. Lots of objectives. These are all completed, so that's good. Um, newspaper. We already read it. Um, find a pump. Found this note amongst Mommy's things. It's Martha's note. So we can't do anything about that yet. We got the tarot cards. Go to the lake. The spirit of the white lady lives in the lake. Nanny always told me her story before going to sleep. Could it have some truth in it? I, I think it definitely could. Okay, sorry. Alright, we're good to go. Back to the lake. At least we're going back during the day. Okay, Martha's dead body's still there. I'm waiting for one day for it not to be there. Oh, wait, we could take the... Let's find the pump to the bike. Because maybe we could get places faster with that. Find a pump. Where would I find the pump? No hints for that one. Bike's here. Uh, is that like a shed or a garage over there? Maybe there's a pump in there. I forget what button highlights the points of interest. Okay, can't go in there. Maybe this door? Nope. Okay. All right, let's just go to the lake. I'm sure we'll find a pump eventually. Maybe over here? Nope, I don't see anything. This is the center of our farm, but since we moved here, it hasn't worked like it used to. Security matters, Daddy says. Pump over here? No. Oh my god, cow! I was afraid of animals Meow. when I was little. Meow. I never approached them alone. Meow. Meow. Tell me, who did it? Who killed Martha? Ah, see, he's looking down. He's in on it. I knew it. I knew it the whole time. Sorry, guys, if there's a bit of frame lag. I'm actually... Let me lower the settings maybe a little bit. I don't want to lower the settings, but... If it's making the game lag. Alright, so let's see. They just want me to go to the lake. Okay. 
Let's do it. If I get one more damn text message during this recording. Okay. Uh, hmm. I feel like this way is the right way. A lot of flies. Oh, here's the thing that we could take a picture of. Is it necessary? Let me take a picture of it anyway. Never know. German soldiers. Daddy ordered patrols to be carried out near the house, but how could they have lost a helmet? God only knows. Hmm. Kinda sus. Is this real? No way. just doing it's dangerous i know but i want to follow them and see what's happening Verdammt. what the hell what is going on with this game there's no way this is real oh my god oh god please no Lapo? Lapo, my dear friend. What have they done to you? Is this real or a dream? Your handkerchief was the symbol of what you believed in. At least that is left of you. Julia, are you surprised that I've addressed this to you and don't think you're dead? Everyone calls you Martha now, right? I know you too well. I can never understand why no one else can ever tell you apart. Not even your own mother and father. Martha is gone and I cannot reconcile myself. <laughs> Erschossen, du Idiot! Scheiße, Scheiße, Scheiße! Was machen wir jetzt? Sieh mal, was sie um ihren Hals hat. Sie ist eine von ihnen. Es musste getan werden. Sie ist die Tochter von General Erich K., du verdammter Trottel! Sie war die Freundin von diesem armen Kerl. Oh, verdammt, jetzt sind wir wirklich am Arsch! Scheiße, lass uns abhauen! Aber, aber sie lebt noch! Sie liegt im Sterben! Siehst du, wo du sie getroffen hast? Sie ist bestimmt schon tot. Wir müssen jetzt abhauen, sonst sind wir auch bald tot. What just happened? I'm dying, I thought. But strangely enough, I wasn't afraid. In fact, I was almost relieved. When I returned, I found myself once again in the midst of a bad dream. One whose meaning I did not understand at the time. Martha. I give you back. Your... Appearance? I give you back. I 
Now, I pay, no, now, I see, through your, no, through mine, now, I see, with my eyes Two sisters were destined to die. Hold on a minute. There's a lot to process. Why was there gunfights in the woods? Did they really think that Lapo killed Martha? And then Lapa's note, Lapo's note said that he knew that we weren't Martha, that he knew we were Julia and that Martha was actually dead. But then we got shot, and now I don't know what's happening. Are we gonna live? Are we gonna die? This is, I thought it was just a dream, but it's not, like, it's so crazy. I, I don't even know, like, I'm, I'm starting to get lost now. Literally five text messages, it's five text messages from five different people. Julia the first sister, and Martha, the second. On Julia's day of departing, identical twins stood before me, impossible to tell apart. They questioned my presence, since they were still so young. Julia must come with me, I demanded, but they both claimed to be Martha. I explained that Martha's fate was soon to be the same, and their games were useless. I didn't have time for it. The war was keeping me busy. But they didn't concede, and instead kept insisting. Can we follow you together? No, impossible. Are you sure Martha will die too? Nothing is certain in wartime. What if the wrong person went with you? Then you would have cheated death. One would die unjustly, and the other would simply be delaying her fate. They discussed amongst themselves, then hugged before one of them came forward. She stared in a determined, almost threatening manner. I guessed it was Martha sacrificing herself, giving more time to her sister. But I stayed silent not to reveal their failed deception. No one lies to the face of their own death. So I asked how their choice was reached. We do lots by throwing a medallion, she said quietly. They had trusted in fate. Oh, how naive they were. They knew fate plays by its own rules, which is true, but it is also my ally. Fate never would have allowed the wrong girl to follow me. In that case, my work was done. 
She must have been Julia. However, little to my knowledge at the time, that blasted medallion had the same name engraved on both sides. Martha's. So, my first assumption was correct. They were too damn smart, and had fooled both fate and me. One thing is for sure. I'll put things back where they belong. I will correct my ignorance and give fate back its blindfold. What? Uh, damn, this hurts so bad. I can hardly breathe. So I survived. What is going on? The ceremony is today, so I need a suitable dress. I'm so lost. I would like to spend a moment with my sister, just me and her alone, before people arrive for the funeral and then take her away. No, 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 my bag is not here. My diary. Lapo's letter. Oh, no. Oh, no, that's not good. If somebody How found Lapo's she? letter. How is my daughter? Um, my things, find Lapo's letter, find the bag. Say goodbye to your oh, sister. No. Please, doctor. Please give me good news. It's a miracle she's alive, Eric, but she will be all right. The bullet passed right by her heart and exited her chest. Unbelievably, it missed her lungs, spine, and heart. She could have been paralyzed or died. But thankfully, she's fine. I examined her thoroughly. She didn't even lose that much blood. She was lucky. And you were lucky, so to speak. She was lucky that my wife went for a walk in the woods. Otherwise... Otherwise, she would have bled to death, yes. I don't know what to say. All of this, it's too much, so much death and suffering, nothing more. Don't worry, Erik. She's young, so she'll recover quickly. I'll be here all day anyway. Thank you, Doctor, for everything. Do Fuck. you mind coming with me to pick my wife up from the cemetery? The funeral will start soon in the chapel. Of course not. Lead the way. You know, did all of these preparations for the funeral, Irina wants everything to be perfect. It's her way of coping, so she doesn't have to think about everything going on. She is a woman who has suffered so much. Maybe too much. What if the bag is here somewhere? And once again, General K's family has come under fire. What now is going on? German resistance on the Tuscan hills has been exhausting for the invaders. What is this? General Edik K. New rules on curfew and women's behavior. German command of S. Vincenzo Atori. 
Telephone number 1185. How do I highlight this? Oh, there we go. The radio needs to be kept on at all times these days. It can save your life knowing things on time, especially before they happen. Perverton again. I feel like these pills do nothing other than agitate her. I don't see the bag here or in their room. This oh, here is my it is. Bag. Thank God. Let's hope Lapo's letter is in there. It is, we can finish reading it. Dear Julia, are you surprised that I've addressed this to you and don't think you're dead? Everyone calls you Martha now, right? I know you too well. I can never understand why no one else can ever tell you apart. Not even your own mother and father. Martha is gone, and I cannot reconcile myself to that fact. I have to stay hidden, and sadly, I can't run to you. Even if I would love nothing more than to hold you tight and cry together. No words. I just want to be close to you. Can we meet in the barn tonight? I will try my best to be there around midnight. Don't be alarmed, but if things get ugly, please remember this number. 6934. He knew he was in serious danger, but what about the letter? I had it in my hand when the soldiers ran off. Mummy found me, and if she's read it, well, she hates Lapo, and now she must know who I am. No, no, she probably would have left me there to die. She'd rather have no daughter than the wrong one. Before I passed out, I must have put it back in my bag. There is no other explanation. No, I feel like the mom still read it somehow. I don't know. There's a lot not adding up. Then there's also the thing that Martha was telling our mom that we were pregnant when we weren't. So much going on. Attempted murder in Laura Mola. After the murder of Julia Kay, today her twin sister is the victim of another attempted murder. The condition of the young girl found by the German troops is no cause for concern. The political motive behind this is becoming all the more clear. But that's not what happened. It's all wrong. Mummy was the one who found me. The German soldiers shot me. Best to stay quiet. No one ever believes the truth. Interesting. I should pick up the phone but remain silent. If I let the caller speak first, I'll find out who it is. Let's see. Who's on the phone? Hello? Ma'am? Can you hear me? Is there somebody there? Mr. Eric? Oh, it's the nanny. I can confide in her. Nanny? Hello, it's me. What? Hello? Oh my lord. I must be dreaming It's a bad something. idea. No, nanny. You're not dreaming. It's really me. It's Julia. Oh my god. Julia, my little sparrow, how wonderful. Sorry, but I thought you were dead. I I saw you lying there dead. This brings me so much joy that... Actually, you must explain to me, my little sparrow, what is happening? Okay, so we're going to explain the whole situation. I told Nanny everything that had happened. She was sad for Martha, of course, but very happy at the same time. I was the one she had a special bond with. I explained to her that I wanted to try and meet the white lady, even if I knew it was a silly idea. But she didn't think I was a fool. Quite the opposite. She explained to me what I should do in an attempt to meet her. It was complicated. I noted everything down carefully in my diary. Who knows, maybe she did it only to keep me occupied, while deciding what to do with me and who to warn. I won't ever know, though, because that very same day, a bomb struck the villa and she died. They all died. We should have been in that house ourselves, but instead, poor Nanny. Bye, Nanny. I love you. Goodbye, my darling. I thought I'd lost you. Be careful, my little sparrow. 
This story is so fucked. Like, wow. Alright, so we, wait, hold on. Before, before I end off here, we can use the, the phone to make phone calls. So can we call this number that he put on there? 6934. Shut up, Julia. 6934. Yes, Lapo is dead. I am due- No, no, don't talk. We don't need to know who you are. By calling this number, it means Lapo wanted you to complete his work. A telephone cable near the house of German General Erich K has to be cut. One goes to the house, but there's another cable we suspect is connected to a secret base. That is the one that has to be cut. If you see any German vehicles around, let us know immediately. We won't use this number anymore. It's dangerous. Use a telegraph. That will be safer. I hope you know how to use them, otherwise you'll have to come up with something. This is important. Frequency X. Before the message, telegraph, town on fire to identify yourself. Long live the homeland. Long live the liberation. Should I sabotage the cable and become a spy? I don't know. My father is German. It would be like betraying him even though he himself hates this war. But what happened to Lapo and those guys? If I can save someone's life, maybe I should try. Or maybe I can talk to Daddy about it. He may be able to advise me on what to do. I don't even know the first thing about all this. What were you thinking, Lapo? Oh my god. Um... Help them or reveal the plan? I decided to tell my father everything. I'm sorry. I loved him very much. So There's I too much going on. I can't help them too. I didn't understand anything about these things. I would have acted without knowing what I was doing. Daddy told me to agree to their requests and report everything back to him. He implored me not to get myself into any trouble. Like all fathers do. To cut the cable, I will need sharp scissors. Taylor scissors should be fine. How did I tell my dad that if I'm deaf? I told him in sign language that they contacted me somehow. That's kind of odd. But, alright. Ah, man. Let me save real quick. Well, thank you everybody for watching. That was Martha is Dead Part 2. Holy crap, there's a lot going on. There was something, some deal with death. Did that actually happen and we don't remember that? Or was that all just fake? I'm not too sure. Uh, we got shot by a German soldier and turns out that Lapo actually knew that we were Julia the whole time. And now our mom might also know because she found us with the note, but we're not quite sure yet. There's a lot going on. We also want to meet the white lady, see if we could find out what really happened to Martha. There's so much going on that we still don't know about yet. And... It just seems like it's getting crazier and crazier by the second. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And also like the video if you enjoyed. And alright guys, I will see you in the next one. Peace.